So I recently spent some time down in Blair Victoria with my DJI Mini 4 Pro. Let's take a look at how I went. I was so keen to get my Mini 4 Pro in the air because the back beaches down in Blair are simply insane. I've shot there before with an Air 2S and I've shot there before with the original Mavic Mini. So it was really good to get the Mini 4 Pro in the air just to do a bit of a comparison on how it went compared to the other drones. And one of the biggest things that I noticed comparing them to the other drones, the Mini 4 Pro's range was incredible. I flew 500 meters in the air and about two and a half kilometers to the beach and did not lose any signal. It responded perfectly. Another thing that I'm starting to notice about the Mini 4 Pro is its wind resistance. It is far better than what I had in mind. Comparing it to my old Mini that did not handle the wind very well at all, uh, the Mini 4 Pro is handling the wind perfectly. I am so surprised every single time I put it up in the air when I feel like I'm going to get those wind warnings and I don't. So if you're looking to get the Mini 4 Pro and you're wondering how well it actually handles the wind, from my experience so far, it's been insane. So I took the drone down to the back beach, I stood on the edge of the cliff and got to fly it around. It handled everything so perfectly and I got about 40 minutes out of one flight on the Intelligent Plus batteries, which I highly recommend because you really do get enough of a fly out of one battery comparing them to the standard ones. The colors that were punching out on screen, those nice rich oranges and everything, that's one big thing that I've noticed with the Mini 4 Pro comparing it to my old Mini. The colors are more vibrant, you're getting a lot more range in those colors and it just doesn't look as flat. Something that worked really well was the obstacle avoidance. I did a shot where I was facing the dunes, flying backwards and also lowering the left stick to descend. And I noticed this handled it perfectly and got the shot exactly how I wanted it. The obstacle avoidance has been a lifesaver and exactly what I wanted when I upgraded from the original Mavic to the Mini 4 Pro. It is ticking all boxes at the moment. I've got mine set to avoid, so whenever I fly it towards something, it simply goes around and finds its own path where it can fly in its own direction. drone in the air the more comfortable I'm becoming with using it. I do think there is a bit of a difference comparing it to my old Mini. I think it's a lot faster, I think the controls are a lot more reactive and I've even noticed in Cine mode that it is quicker than the Cine mode on the previous Mini. Uh, it's taken me a little bit to get used to but what I'm now finding is I'm finding my groove with it and I feel like I'm getting those nice smooth shots which is what I was kind of used to with the previous Mini. Let me know what you think about the DJI Mini 4 Pro and let me know if you're looking to buy it, what would you like to know about it? 